a ball in his bedroom, and the ball goes under the table, uh, under his bed. He runs and he gets his ball and he goes running to his mother in the kitchen and says, Mama, Mama, what is it, son? Didn't you say the Bible says dust we came from and dust we should return? She says, Yes, son. She well, you better come with me real quick, Mama, because somebody under the bed is either coming or going. <laughs> uh, they're having a fundraising at this one particular ch uh, church, and the pastor, he's behind the pulpit with his song book in his hand, and he says, the first one today to contribute $1,000, you will have your choice of three hymns. So this little old lady in the back, she raises her hand and she says, I'll donate the thousand dollars. And the pastor says, great, what three hymns will you choose? And she says, well, I choose him. I choose him. <laughs> 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 Uh, a wife invited some people to dinner. At the table, she turned to her six-year-old daughter and said, Would you like to say the blessing? I wouldn't know what to say, Mommy. She said, Just repeat what you hear Mommy say. And the little girl bows her head, and she says, Dear Lord, why on earth did I invite all these people to dinner? <laughs> Uh, there's this widow and widower. How are we doing so far, right? Yeah. There's this widow and widower. You all know the difference. Yes, yes. They live in a trailer park in Arizona somewhere. And they have this big dinner party for the whole trailer park. And this one widow's looking at this widower, and the widower's looking at her. And Oh, during the night, she dances with other guys and he dances with other women. But at the end of the night, you know, this guy's keeping his eye on his widow. He finally says to her, he says, would you marry me? And she says, yes, I'll marry you. So the guy's very happy and at night he goes his way and she goes her way. The following morning, the guy wakes up. Did she say she would marry me or she wouldn't marry me? I don't remember. So he gives her a call and he says, this is Jack Wilson. He says, we were at the party last night and I asked you if you would marry me. And did you say yes or you said no? She says, no, I said yes with all my heart, yes. And I am so happy you called, I forgot who asked me. <laughs> Church bloopers, by the way, huh? I used up five minutes. Yeah. I got a couple of church bloopers over here. You've heard church bloopers before, right? Oh, yeah. uh, don't let worry kill you. Let the church help. <laughs> For those of you who have children and don't know it, we have a nursery downstairs. <laughs> Next Thursday, there will be tryouts for the choir. They need all the help they can get. <laughs> Miss Barbara remains in the hospital and is having a problem sleeping. She is requesting copies of the pastor's sermon tapes. <laughs> this morning, after which the choir will sing, Break Forth Into Joy. <laughs> <laughs> a bean supper will be held on Tuesday evening in the church hall. Music will follow. <laughs> At the evening service tonight, the sermon topic will be, what is hell? Come early and listen to the choir practice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, supper Sunday at 5 p.m. Prayer and medication will follow. <laughs> okay, the others 
I don't want to read. <laughs> Okay, um, I hope we don't have any holier than thou, did you? Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> After a quiet breakfast the other day, my grandson and I went up to a local Christian book bookstore and saw a Hump If You Love Jesus bumper sticker. I was feeling particularly sassy that day because I had just come from a thrilling choir practice followed by a powerful prayer meeting, so I bought the sticker and put it on my bumper. I was stopped at a red light at a busy intersection, just lost in thought about the Lord and how good he is, and I didn't notice the light had changed. <laughs> What an exuberant cheerleader. Wait, did I miss one? <laughs> oh. It is a good thing someone else loves Jesus, because if he hadn't hunt, I'd have never noticed. I found that lots of people love Jesus. Why? While I was sitting there, the nice man behind started honking like crazy. And he leaned out of his window and screamed, For the love of God! Go, go, go! What an exuberant cheerleader he was for the Lord. Everyone started honking. I just leaned out of my window and started waving and smiling at all those loving people. I even honked my horn a few times to share in the love. There must have been a man from Florida back there because I heard him yelling something about a sunny beach. <laughs> I noticed I was the only car that got through the intersection before the line changed again. And I felt kind of sad that I had to leave them after all the love we had shared. So I slowed the car down, leaned out of the window, and gave them all the Hawaiian <laughs> As I drove away, praise the Lord for such a wonderful post. <laughs> All right. 